On July 7th, Newburgh First United Methodist Church sent three youth and two adults off in our church bus to the Yakima Nation Reservation in Wapato, Washington, where we experienced a service and learning trip called SLAM, Students Learning About Missions. SLAM is a summer program hosted by Mending Wings, a Christian ministry operated by and for the Yakima people. Their mission is to help their people fly again. In the mornings, our team, another youth group from Puyallup, Washington, and some of the youth interns from Mending Wings went out to Ms. Carmen's house where we did yard work and scraped paint off of the home. The temperatures reached 106 degrees, so we took a lot of water breaks where we got to listen to Carmen's stories and enjoy some of her refreshments. In the evenings, we spent our time engaged in various cultural learning. On Monday, we went to the Cultural Museum. When I first moved to the Pacific Northwest, I quickly learned that people out here really love their waterfalls. And so it was shocking to me when we went to the museum one day to learn that there were these beautiful waterfalls on the Columbia River called Salila Falls, where indigenous people gathered for salmon fishing and trading and religious ceremonies. And then to learn that um, it wasn't very long ago when the United States government decided to build the Dalles Dam and the Salila Falls completely disappeared under the water. That was really heartbreaking to me to learn. It's been an incredible week. There's so many different things that we saw and learned, but I think one of that stuck with me is we went to the uh, Native Museum and got to look around at all the information in there. We saw the treaty they signed with the Yakima Nation and learned a lot of different facts. But the really crazy part is, is that the library is attached to the museum and they had a vending machine that the kids got tokens for and they got free books. And you would have thought we were giving them hundreds of dollars. They were all lined up waiting to get a free book. And most of them were little kids' books. But it was very heartwarming to see how excited they were about the books. On Tuesday, we drove down some farm roads and stopped to gather tule, which were growing in an irrigation ditch. We got to harvest a reed called tule, and then we got to make tule mats out of them, which are used for shelter or to display food. And it's traditional for the first one you make, you give it to someone else. On Wednesday, we toured the reservation and heard both historical stories and native creation stories. We stopped at Union Gap, where the Yakima had fought against the U.S. Army, and we heard the tale of how the hills were formed from a mighty battle between coyote and bear. When bear was defeated, his wife Swan cried and cried and cried and filled the Yakima River. We then visited a Catholic mission that still had a few of the original apple trees planted there in 1852, which was Washington's very first apple orchard. And we went to Fort Simcoe, which was once used as a boarding school for indigenous people. We heard an elder speak of being beaten there as a child because he was caught speaking his native language. And we saw photos of young Yakima children who were forced to wear European uniforms with European haircuts. We even stood in the jailhouse where dozens of children were sent for punishment if they did anything related to their culture. To reconcile means you had a good relationship and it got broken and you're wanting to fix it, right? Make it, make it whole again. Conciliation says, well, there never really was a relationship at, per, at all, so we're trying to make one. That evening, we enjoyed a dinner of salmon and fry bread, and dancers came from Mending Wings who delighted us with their regalia and even brought us into their line dancing.
Although it was scary to like have to participate, it was fun because it was like cool and it like got you off your feet. Throughout the week, we rotated chores to help keep the church clean. But there was plenty of time for games too. On the way home, our crew stopped at the Stonehenge World War I Memorial, and we watched windsurfers over in Hood River. Overall, we came home with so much more than we gave, and we cannot wait to go back again next year.